Welcome back to another video brought to you by ISCA Engineering. In today's video, we will be talking about relay control logic. We will cover the idea and go over the logic functions. This video is a continuation in the motor control and system series. If you haven't watched any of the previous videos, I highly recommend watching those before continuing this video. Before we dive into the video, if you are not yet subscribed, then please hit the subscribe button, like the video, and leave a comment. Also hit the notification button so you won't miss any of the new videos uploaded. Let's get started. Most electrical circuits can be divided into two separate sections consisting of an input and output. The input side provides the signal and includes devices such as manually operated switches, push buttons, limit switches, float switches, relay contacts, and much more. In conclusion, input devices initiate or stop the flow of current by closing or opening the control device's contacts. The output side of the control circuit provides the action and includes devices such as contactors, motor starters, horns, relays, solenoids, indicator lights, and more. Motor control circuits can have one or more inputs controlling one or more outputs. The example shows typical input and outputs of a control ladder diagram. The relay is energized once the switch is closed and will open CR12 and close CR11. The horn will energize once both the CR11 contact and limit switch are in the closed position. The solenoid is energized when CR12 or float switch are closed. Once the temperature reaches its set point and closes, the contactor will energize and close its contacts. At the same time, the pilot light will energize and turn on. Logic is the ability to make decisions when one or more different factors must be taken into consideration. Control logic functions describe how inputs interact with each other to control outputs. The logic functions include AND, OR, NOT, NAND, and NOR functions. The AND logic function operates like a series circuit. They are used when two or more inputs are connected in series and they all must be closed in order to energize the output. The example shows two float switches in series. Both the float switches must be closed before energizing the solenoid and performing an action, such as allowing water or some type of substance to flow. The OR logic function operates like a parallel circuit. They are used when two or more inputs are connected in parallel, and any of the inputs can close to energize the output. In the circuit shown, any of the two push buttons can be pressed in order to energize the motor stator which will therefore turn on the motor on a fan. The NOT function uses a single normally closed input device instead of a normally open input. The NOT logic energizes the load when the control signal is off. The example shows a relay coil with an indicating light. Its purpose in this instance is to indicate that an area cannot be entered due to a motor running. The NAND function can come from a combination of the AND and NOT logic function in which two or more normally closed contacts are connected in parallel to control the load. The example shows the NAND logic in which the pilot will go off if both the timing relays are energized and done timing. If either one is not actuated and completed, then the pilot light will stay on. The NOR function can come from a combination of the OR and NOT logic functions, in which two or more normally closed contacts are connected in series to control the load. The circuit shows the NOR logic, used with three-wire control to energize a motor starter. In the circuit, the motor can be started from one location, but can be stopped from two locations. The two series connected normally closed stop push buttons provide the NOR function for this circuit. After the motor starter is energized, pressing any of the stop buttons will de-energize the motor starter. 
Control circuits often require more than one type of logic function when more complex decisions need to be made. The circuit provided shows the operation of a simple pneumatic press, which uses several different types of logic functions. This concludes the video over relay control logic. If you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave it in the comments section below. In the next video, we will be looking at semiconductor diodes. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook at ISCA underscore engineering underscore. The links will be provided in the description. There we post content on electricity, controls, automation, and much more. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.